Welcome everyone, my name is Francisco Alceta and today I'm going to present the paper RTBDI, a real-time BDI model. This work has been made in collaboration with Paolo Giorgini, Mauro Marinoni and Davide Calveresi. Many of our daily activities are controlled and regulated by distributed systems able to coordinate and take decisions on the base of collected data. Applications such as traffic management, both air and ground, UAVs, swarm robotics, manufacturing and healthcare need to perform in real time and to adapt to unpredictable changes in the environment in which they operate. On one hand, real-time systems lose their efficacy when dealing with highly dynamic environments. On the other hand, bridging real-time systems with the multi-agent systems approach can create a new generation of systems offering a trade-off in terms of performance and flexibility while ensuring the underlying compliance with strict timing constraints. In literature, the majority of the approaches that were proposed to combine uh, real-time and artificial intelligence rely on a layered hybrid control architecture. In such an architecture, the reactive layer acts in real-time, responding to the most urgent needs, while the high-level reasoning activity is performed at the deliberative layer, where no real-time constraints are usually considered. Having a layer not performing in real-time, the entire system cannot be considered real-time compliant. Examples of such architectures are the LAS architecture by Alami and co-authors, and the SIMB architecture by Julian and co-authors. Our approach instead involves the introduction of real-time concepts directly into the cognitive layer of the agent. Combining real-time and agent-based systems would allow us to obtain a system that is able to make correct choices in the time required, not only in situations that it knows, but also in complex situations where problems require a reasoning process to be solved. With their arts architecture, Vikorev and others attempted to reach soft real-time guarantees for BDI agents by introducing in it real-time concepts such as priority for goals and duration for plans. Nevertheless, since this approach involves only the deliberative part, it can guarantee a quick commitment to an intention still being unable to provide any guarantee on its execution. So, by introducing real-time concepts such as priority, tasks, computational time, tasks period, etc., etc., in all fundamental components of the BDI model, we can exploit the real-time guarantees provided by the real-time scheduling algorithm. The driving framework implemented to run over a real-time operating system could represent a solution to obtain a flexible system able to adapt to the changes of the environment and at the same time consider and deal with the restrictions typical of the real-time domain. Similarly to the most successful approaches proposed in the BDI literature, in our model, an agent A is represented by the set of beliefs, desires, and plans of the agent, while phi sub A and phi sub I are selection functions. In particular, phi sub A chooses a plan among the applicable ones to be executed for achieving a selected goal, thus becoming an intention. Phi sub A instead selects the next task to be performed at each cycle among all those belonging to a currently active intention. A belief B is composed by a predicate symbol P and one or more terms T. B then is a belief atom. A desire D is defined as a tuple B Prech PR where B is a belief literal, hence a belief atom or its negation, representing the agent's desire of either achieving or verifying a certain state of the system. Prech is the set of preconditions, hence the conjunction of belief literals needed for the activation of the desire. And finally, PR represents the priority of the desire. In particular, PR is used by the selection functions discriminating the most relevant goals for the agent. 
a plan P instead is represented as a tuple defined by a number of parameters. D is the triggering desire that the plan is designed to achieve, while pref is a cost function sorting by preference the possible plans to achieve the same desire. Similar to the desires definition, pretch is the set of preconditions, so the conjunction of belief literals needed for the activation of the plan, while cont represents the context conditions as the set of predicates needed to be valid during the entire execution of the plan in order to prevent its failure. Finally, the body is a set of sequential actions alpha, where alpha can be either a real-time task, for instance, the activation of an actuator or an internal goal. When selected by an agent, a desire becomes a goal. So basically a goal is a desire that the agent is currently committed to achieve. And in RTBDI, we distinguish between external and internal goals. External goals are desires activated by a triggering event such as a change in the belief set of the agent or a request made by another agent, while internal goals are desires activated by a plan during the execution of an intention and they require the instantiation of one or more subplans. Concerning the other kind of actions, the tasks, we have considered two main real-time task models. Inherited from real-time systems, the tasks performed by our agents can be either periodic or aperiodic. Periodic tasks consist of a potentially infinite sequence of regular activations and are characterized mainly by a computational time and a period, while the activation of aperiodic tasks are irregularly interleaved. Like the periodic tasks, they are also characterized by a computational time, but to deal with their aperiodicity, we had to resort to a particular mechanism, as we will see later. The selection function phi sub a chooses among the set of applicable plans which plan has to be executed for each pending goal given the current belief set of the agent. The chosen plans will become intentions, hence plans actively executed by the agent. Regarding intentions, a crucial point of our model consists in the fact that the agent has to choose a set of feasible intentions. In the real-time domain, feasible means that the execution of all the tasks the agent has committed to terminates successfully without any deadline miss. To allow this, a necessary condition concerns the tasks and the intention being preemptive, allowing the agent to quickly switch from an intention to another one without incurring in any deadline miss. In order to achieve such a complex objective, the agent must perform a task-level reasoning. When deciding whether a new intention should be added to the current intention set or not, the agent must verify that all the tasks it has already committed to are still guaranteed to be completed within their deadline. Real-time systems use algorithms called schedulability tests or schedulability analysis in order to quickly understand whether adding a task to our task set is feasible or not. Studies conducted by Calvarese and others demonstrated that earliest deadline first is the most appropriate real-time compliance scheduling algorithm to power real-time agents, so we decided to adopt it in our model too. The schedulability analysis of the EDF algorithm is quite trivial. C over T is the fraction of processor time spent in executing task tau. Given a set of periodic tasks and given one as the full processor utilization capacity, a set of periodic tasks is schedulable with EDF if and only if the sum for every task of their computational time C over their period T is less or equal than one, which is the full processor utilization capacity. However, EDF as is can only handle periodic tasks. 
therefore, to execute also a periodic tasks, our agent should combine it with a bandwidth reservation mechanism. A server is a periodic task whose reserved computational time is made available to the aperiodic task assigned to it. So, going back to the example shown before, by using the EDF schedulability analysis becomes easy to check if the tasks on top of each intention can be fully executed within their own deadline or not. However, the problem of checking how the intentions interleaving will influence the execution times of the tasks still remains. For instance, in this example, we know that the green, pink, yellow and blue tasks are feasible together, but will the task set be still feasible if the yellow task completes and its successor, hence task 2 of the first intention, needs to be executed? To deal with this problem, we have decided to perform the schedulability test by considering the entire intention rather than each single task. In this case, the agent computes the maximum utilization factor among the tasks composing each intention. Then it sums them in order to obtain the maximum fraction of processor utilization capacity that it could need during the execution of those intentions. When the agent has to evaluate if it has enough time and resources to execute a fourth intention together with the others, it performs the scalability test, sees that the sum exceeds the threshold, and so it uh, basically rejects the plan. This approach may appear too conservative or pessimistic, Indeed, intention 4 maybe could have been scheduled with the right interleaving. Nevertheless, since the agent does not know a priori the interleaving of its intentions, it is crucial to provide timing guarantees in a real-time setting. However, we are already at work to optimize the strategy with more effective yet complex schedulability policies and mechanisms. Finally, to define the selection function phi sub a, we revise the well-known multiple choice knapsack problem by integrating uh, the EDF schedulability analysis principles. Without going too much into the details of the formula, which can be found on the paper, let's say that phi sub a allows the agent to first try to commit to an applicable plan for each active goal, and in case it is not possible, the agent will only consider the plans for the goals having higher priority. Then, if there is not enough time or resources to achieve all the remaining goals, the agent will prioritize those whose chosen plan is most preferred. Once an agent has committed to an intention through the selection function uh, phi sub a, it is added to the intention set. Phi sub i, which selects the intention whose task has to be executed at the next cycle, implements the EDF scheduling algorithm. This approach differs, for instance, from JSON, which uh, implements a hierarchical round robin as the default intention selection function, and JACK, which allows choosing between a round robin and FIFO. In this example, we've uh, first come first served or FIFO, the actions of uh, the intention tree must wait some time, potentially infinite, before starting their execution. Obviously, this is not a desired behavior in a real-time setting. Round robbing is fairer in this sense, but it does not take into account the possibility that suddenly an undefined number of uh, intentions could be added to the intention set delaying the execution of the actions that uh, were already in execution. EDF instead accepts only the feasible intentions and executes their actions in the correct order such as every task is guaranteed to complete within its deadline. As shown from this comparison, 
EDF has higher fairness among tasks with respect to FIFO, which could lead to blocking task sets, and is more efficient than the round robin, which guarantees fairness but may cause conflicts between interleaved steps in different intentions. As mentioned before, to improve performance, phi sub a should be optimized. In particular, we are currently working on a mechanism to allow phi sub a to compute the utilization relying on both accepted and pending plans and tasks. An important step consists of uh, extending the characterization of time from the tasks and plans to the goals level. Besides ensuring compliance with the strict timing constraints, the agent will be able to define whether or not a goal can be satisfied within a time interval given its resources, capabilities, means and constraints. Moreover, the real-time BDI model can be extended from single to multi-agent settings. For this purpose, a particular communication and interaction protocol must be designed in order to consider those real-time constraints. In conclusion, we presented RT-BDI, a revision of the BDI model that exploits real-time mechanisms to allow its employment in safety-critical applications. The main contribution of this paper consists in the integration of real-time mechanisms into the BDI reasoning cycle, involving a real-time scheduler in two distinct phases. A schedulability analysis is first performed to choose a feasible set of intentions to be executed, and then the scheduling algorithm provides the execution order of the actions composing such intentions. This approach opens to promising developments and calls for a simulator to allow verification and validation, which is currently under development. Thank you very much for your attention.